Well, howdy there, partner. My name's Tag. Before you start watching, I just gotta let you know that I live in a lovely little place called California 8, which is currently on fire. Due to the fire, there is a possibility that we will be evacuated, which would be really, really sad because it would make it so videos that I make would have to come out a little less often and, you know, my house could also burn down. But apart from that, I just hope you understand if my videos maybe come out a little less often because there is a large chance that we will have to leave. Thank you. Hey guys, it's Tag. Welcome back to the Let's Play. Um, I do want to apologize in advance. You might hear um, some sound um, in the background. That is because I have my fan on because it is currently um, freaking roasting in my room right now. Um, so yeah, I, I apologize about that if that might be a problem. But otherwise, um, yeah, enjoy the video. So yeah, hey guys, how's it going? Um, it's Tag. I'm back in the Let's Play today. We do have um, a few pretty big things that I really want to do in this episode that I'm feeling pretty excited about. But before we can do that, I gotta tell you what I've done off camera because I've done a fair amount actually. So the first thing you may notice, um, last episode we finished up our storage room, our beautiful storage room with rock work and a crystal. Um, but I basically just put all the signs on for all of our stuff. So I've sorted all of our items into all of these different chests um, so you know we can maybe look through a bit. Lots and lots of stuff. Um, but yeah, we are kind of rolling in items. Basically, everything I own is in this one room, which is kind of weird. Um, but yeah, it feels nice. Another thing you may notice is we have a nice oak wood floor going on. This used to be jungle, but it was just too jungly for my taste. So I had to get rid of it and go with the oak. Another thing that I've done is we finally have an official way of getting in and out of the base. We finally have an official entrance. So the first way that you get up is you use this little staircase to come up to the second story. We, we also have our nether portal over there. And then the way you get all the way up to the surface is by using this bubble elevator. On this side we have an elevator, on this side we just have a drop chute. If we take this lovely bubble elevator up, we will come up to our main entrance. Up here we have a nice little entrance area um, with a lovely suspended roof um, and a few boxes around the area. It's supposed to look like maybe when I come back from my adventures and stuff, I would put all the supplies that I've gathered up here. Of course, this is not actually, you know, where I'm going to put anything. It's just for decoration. And then we also have a nice path going into Peony City. And the last thing I did off camera, I know, I know, I've done a lot. The last thing I did was, I did a bit of mining. This isn't all from just being off camera, but this is some of the random stuff that I've gotten from about a month of strip mining. Um, and all of this coal is basically just stuff I mined with my Silk Touch pickaxe. And I need to go through and I need to fortune it all to get all of our coal. We will be pretty pretty good on coal for a while after we mine all of this. And there's one thing I need to do before we can start doing some legit work in this episode. I need to head over to the Shout Out Pagoda. We'll put in two new people who left a really, really nice comment on my last video. Alright, and the two new people I've added to the Pagoda are Panda Boy Slayer and Mandy Lockhart, who left a very nice comment. Remember, if you want to, um, you know, get a spot in the Shout Out Pagoda, the good old Shout Out Pagoda, all you gotta do is leave a comment. That's it. Just a comment. Alrighty, and with that all out of the way, we can kind of just get on to the meat of the video. The main plan that I have for this episode is I am finally going to be building a super smelter. And the super smelter, um, it's basically just as it sounds. It's a bunch of furnaces with some redstone going on in there that basically makes everything smelt, I'd say, about ten times faster than it would um, if you just, you know, put it into a regular furnace. But I think before we can start on the super smelter, I'm going to start off the episode with a good old-fashioned time-lapse with that new time-lapse music that I love so much, because we got a bunch of good old coal ore that I need to stack up and then fortune mine down. So yeah, I think we're gonna do a third-person time-lapse, um, of me just breaking down all this core, so wish me luck, guys. then that was a pretty hefty time lapse for me i basically just mined um up and down non-stop so i'm using one of my new pickaxes it's for beacon mining only it's got fortune 3 mending one so the cool thing about mending is that basically while mining all of that because all of those ores give you experience um the durability will not go down and also i'm at 43 levels <laughs> um that's pretty crazy i don't i don't actually know what i started at i think it was somewhere around 27 but that's that's pretty cool 
So I'm putting this pickaxe back because it's not a pickaxe that I actually use. I am only using mending for that kind of thing, only because it's kind of ridiculous to have to, like, you know, get new pickaxes for work like that. Um, but it's time to check out everything we got. So the first chest, we have a buttload of coal. We also have a good amount of lapis and a lot of redstone. So I am going to move everything in here that I can to another area. The rest I might just have to keep in one spot, but I'm going to transfer all this. And then we can start on the big old project of the episode, the smelting room. Alrighty, so I have everything sorted into the different chests. Um, everything is looking pretty good, but I actually forgot about um, another type of ore that I have gotten over the, you know, past few days. Um, I actually got all of this yesterday. You know, just a few diamonds. Um, I have got to mine these puppies up because we are running a little low on diamonds. I mean, it doesn't look like that much. Um, but basically right here we probably have about three stacks. My goal is to maybe have about five at all times. It's always good to have a good amount. Um, so I need to mine all these guys up. So I'm gonna get my beacon mining again. And we are just gonna make a giant straight line and we're gonna mine it all down. We got a total of a stack and 48. That is pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. That will put us up to about... Um, four and a half stacks, which is right next to our goal. So right here, yep, about four and a half. Um, it will be four and a half if you had all of these extra. So yeah, we're feeling pretty good. Now, without further ado, it is time to start making this super smelter. I am going to take you into a creative test world, and I'm going to show you, um, the design that I have planned for the super smelter. And I think it's going to go on that side, but maybe that side, I don't really know. Alrighty, so I'm here in my test world where I test out all of the builds before they end up going into my actual world. And right here we have the super smelter room. And it is a pretty cool looking room, I'm not gonna lie. We have a nice lava roof um, and some nice brown stained glass. Basically the way this works is, in this chest you put your coal, in this chest you put what you want to be smelted, and here is where all of the stuff that's been smelted comes out. So right here we'll have a regular furnace, right over here we'll have a smoker, and right over here we'll have a blast furnace for every single type of thing. And basically what you do to start it, you just press that and slowly but surely the minecarts will both go across and they will be putting stuff into these furnaces, um, so coal and, you know, ores or whatever, and then it will all smelt up super quickly and come into here. Alright guys, so I could not decide for the life of me which side I was going to build it on. I mean, right, left, right, left, I couldn't decide. So I decided I was going to build this little contraption right here. Now you may be wondering, Tag, what does this contraption do? Here we go. This hopper right here is feeding into that hopper, and that hopper is feeding into this hopper, making it so the item will go back and forth between these two things. When I trigger this lever, it will power these hoppers, making it so neither which will transfer the other one to the other one. So when I pull this lever randomly, one of these two will be will have the diamond in it. And the one the diamond, this diamond, is in is the side that we will build it on. I don't know why I did this, it's just kind of fun. So I'm going to throw my little diamond in, it, it should be cycling in and out. I'm going to, you know, do a little dance for luck. Alright, now I'm going to press the lever. And we will figure out which side it's in. Alright, it's on this side, so we are building it on that side. So without further ado, it is time for another super speedy, super groovy time lapse. So let's do it. After a surprisingly groovy time lapse, we have a good old square um, that I've mined out that is going to be where we have our super smelter in. So we will have one on each wall. We're going to build the first one. I'm going to explain how it works, and then we will continue building the other ones, and then we will decorate, and then I will... I don't know. I, <laughs> I haven't planned that far ahead. Alrighty, so we have our bare bones super smelter here. Um, no decoration, legit just a super smelter. Before I end up decorating it, I think it's probably a good idea for us to test it just to make sure it actually works. But I honestly can't remember the last time that I've had this much unsmelted ore. Um, it, it's pretty fun. 
when I flip this lever, it should go and evenly disperse between them, and they should smelt it. So let me just boop. And alright. It skipped that one for a sec because I already had some stone in there. But overall, this is looking pretty good. So these should just kind of go back and forth for a while. And as you can see, it gets smelted and immediately taken back into here. And look, we already have 23. Alrighty, so while this runs, I think I'm going to start decorating. Um, I do have a pretty interesting design. I think you already ended up seeing it. So I'm just going to get this first one done and then we will continue on from there. Alrighty, the clip of me making this whole thing didn't save. And that kind of sucks, um, but I don't care because it looks really good. I have a bunch of little slimy friends. Hi, guys. Hi. How's it going, guys? I needed slime. <laughs> okay, so this is the design that I've come up with. Um, it looks pretty good. By the way, I did not come up with this super smelter design. Um, it's been around for forever. Um... And yeah, it's, it's not mine. So I did not come up with the super smelter design, but I sure as heck came up with the design for being around it. And it looks really good. Um, I'm really happy with it. I'm kind of going for like one of these like wooden peg designs where like, you know, the things come out. Um, it's the kind of style that you'd see in like New Mexico, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, super cool. I really like it. And boom, suddenly we aren't so short on iron. There's so much iron here, dude. It's crazy. I love, I love smelting all this up. It's the best. I think the only downside about super smelters is you do not ever get, you don't ever get the experience. So yeah, that is that. I will go and build the second furnace um, behind me, and then we will get that third one going, and then we'll get some lava roofs and some cool floor patterns. Um, so yeah, I'll cut back to once I have that. I'll cut back to once I have that smelter over there. So stick with me. Alright guys, I managed to get two out of the three done, although I haven't gotten the glass on this one. Um, this one's kind of in, you know, the process of going. I am super freaking tired. I'm going to take a little sleepy sleep in real life, and then I'll come back whenever I get to play next. Now, I'm a little anxious tonight, I'm not gonna lie, because tomorrow is my first day of online school, which is kind of fun. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's really all I got to say. Online school starting, um, videos may come out a tiny bit less often, only because of that, because school is kind of whack. Um, but it's it's much better than it is bad. So yeah, I am going to take a little sleep, and when I cut back, I will have all of this done. Wish me luck. Time for some school. One full day of school later, we have finished three out of our three super smelters, and they are looking really, really good, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so, I think our next step is we are going to get this lovely oak wood floor going on, um, and then we're gonna get a nice lava roof, and then we are going to finish it off. But yeah, we do have our furnaces, and our smokers, and our blast furnaces. Um, so yeah, we're feeling pretty good. So I am going to get a little design going on this floor. Now that we got our fairly tacky looking, but still pretty cool looking floor down, well, we gotta put in our nice little lava roof, and it's gonna look super good. Um, I have a few design ideas, basically it's just gonna be a bunch of stone arch things going up, um, and then we'll have some lava draping down, and then I will have some stripped um, logs as like a little support beam thing, um, you'll, you'll see it when it's done, uh, but I need to go in and get some lava mainly, and I think... There is some right under me, um, like legit right under this floor. So I'm going to go and get that, and then we will get our little arches going. We'll have to make sure we have enough glass for it. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Gotta grab the buckets. Oh, wow, we have 13 buckets. You know, one of the best things I've done in this entire Let's Play, I'm not even lying, is putting a bucket chest inside of my storage room. Because I cannot tell you how many times I've been like, I need buckets, and you can never find buckets. You always need to craft them. Um, and it's such a waste of iron, and now that I have my buckets, like, in a specific spot, I don't really have to worry about, you know, going and finding them. And here we are. So, I need to build this arch thing.
Okay, so currently we do have our arch going in. I was actually um, planning on making like a V um, or just like a, a roof kind of look, um, but I couldn't do that because if we actually do end up coming all the way up here to where I've been doing this, that would make it so we cannot have a room over here. And I want to have a giant hallway over here, um, so I had to make this this low so that we can have lava, and then we have to have a bunch of stone above it to make sure that the floor over here doesn't catch on fire. I haven't actually done my research on that. I do not know if that will protect it. Hopefully it does. Okay, so it looks as though I'm going to have to basically just go through and place them all and then go back down, get some more lava, come back. So I will cut back to once we have all of our lava going, and then we will probably end off the episode. Alrighty, so I have my lava placed down, and now I just gotta go through and basically just get all of this top part covered up with good old-fashioned cobblestone so that we don't catch any of our other stuff on fire, because it would really not be a good time if we, um, you know, we're starting to build the walkway or something, and then, you know, the bottom caught on fire because we didn't bother to cover all of this lava up. I haven't actually looked at how it looks yet, so we're gonna experience that together. Now, I'm very excited about this, um, build being finished because... This super smelter room is going to be something that we basically use every single day in the let's play. I mean, it's going to be a very, so going to be a very used area, and I don't know, man. It just feels super fun to finally, you know, finish a big old project up that you've been working on. And I'm also, oops, really excited because we're slowly but surely filling up our base with useful stuff. So once I get all of these big old industrial, like, necessary things done, I'm going to start on the farming district, and we just have a lot of other stuff to do. And now, we are both going to experience, um, you know, the first look at this place. So let's just... <gasps> Boom. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Um, wow. It's totally, like, Minecraft tacky style, where, you know, this is such a stupid and, like, wacky design. Um, but I, I absolutely love it. And it is a little anxious because, um, well, the lava is very close to the wood. But from what I understand, um, and, you know, how I've practiced making this, hopefully the lava should never catch anything on fire. But yeah, this place is looking super awesome. And with that, it's time for me to go. I think I'm going to end off with a good old-fashioned cinematic, um, little montage, I guess. Um, only because I haven't done one of those in a while. Um, so yeah, thank you all so much for watching. My name has been Tag or preposterous if you're going by my YouTube name. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, the next episode will come out in two to three days. School is a thing now for me, so the episodes might come out a little less often, but the thing about school, for some reason, when I have less time to do something, I want to do it more. It's my- a stupid brain being annoying. Um, but, I don't know, there's some plus sides and there's some downsides to it. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Hey guys, so a uh, big plus, my house didn't actually burn down. Um, we are currently back home, and I have just finished editing the video. I'm about to post it. Um, 1080p again, I'm really happy about that. But I'm gonna admit, off camera, during the um, evacuations, I could not help myself, and I built a giant semi-automatic double potato farm. Um, and the, basically the way it works, as my dude will show you, is you kind of just walk up, um, and you flip that lever, and once they're all planted, um, it'll basically just release a bunch of water, and it'll go through, it'll harvest all the potatoes, and it will put it in the hoppers for later use. It's very efficient, it's very cool, and I'm gonna end up making more of these, I just had to do something with my evacuation. So yeah, I hope you understand. Um, but yeah, super cool design, I didn't come up with it, it's pretty common. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed, this um, video has been made over the course of a week and a half. Thanks to California being basically a living fireplace. So thank you so much, and I will see you in episode 20 in hopefully a few days. And now, folks, it's time to say goodnight. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.